Welcome everyone to this week's Torah portion. This week we read the first Torah portion in the Bible, Bereshit, which in Hebrew means in the beginning. And it starts off in the beginning of Genesis chapter 1. It speaks about the six days of creation when God created the heavens and the earth. So the first day, God created darkness and light. On the second day, God created the heavens, and He divided the upper waters and the lower waters. So there was air in between, and there was the bottom, which is later became the earth, and then the skies. On the third day, God made the boundaries of all the oceans and the seas and the land. Additionally, all of the vegetation that would grow on the land, God created on the third day, like the trees and the grass and all the greenery. On the fourth day, God positioned the stars and the sun and the moon in the sky to be time tellers for us here on earth and to illuminate the earth. On the fifth day, God created animals in the ocean like fish as well as reptiles on land. Additionally, the birds that would fly in the sky. On the sixth day, which the sixth day was the last day of creation, God created, created the land animals and beasts as well as human beings. And the seventh day, God rested, and He sanctified the seventh day as the day of rest. Now, when God created humans, He created first Adam, taking by, by molding out of the dust in the ground, a human body, and then he blew, in, blew into his nostrils a life. He blew in a soul. God said that Adam is lonely. The first human being by himself, he is lonely. So God took from his rib and created a female, which is Eve or Chava. This shows us the importance of being together with other people, whether it's friends or family, speaking to people, living life with, under, with other people is not just a pleasure, it is a necessity for human survival. Like we see by Adam, the first human being ever, he needed Eve, he needed a partner, he needed someone to talk to, to go through life together with. Now Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel got into a fight, and Cain struck Abel, his brother, and he died. So Cain, for the rest of his life, would wander. Adam had a third son named Shays, or Shait, or in English, Seth. Now, obviously, there was more daughters born, so they had children. His kids had children. God told uh, Seth, I want you to marry your sister. So Seth said, but God, I don't want to. So God told Seth, I incest. I'm just kidding, that's a joke. But... Seth had many kids and grandkids, and eight generations later, he had Noah. And Noah, during his time, was the only righteous person in the earth. So we see all the way from the beginning of creation, human beings can disagree. Mistakes can happen. The question is how we move, move forward. And we see the first person to really stand up against this whole generation, which is Noah. And this is the beauty about the human race, that from the beginning of time, We've had people make the right choices and people make the wrong choices. And it's our job in the world to try to make sure that we live a life which is peaceful and which is helping others as opposed to harming others. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful week.